And there you go. It's the first of its kind hemostatic wound spray, stopping a bleed out within seconds. It can be what I like to say, cover mild to wild. Wayne Grub is the CEO of BC3 Technologies in Baltimore. He worked with two chemical engineers out of Germany to develop SEAL. That'll do anything from like a mild cut or laceration all the way up to an arterial bleed if you have access to it. When the spray comes in contact with blood, it quickly sets up, creating a jello-like consistency over the wound, buying first responders time until the injury can be further treated. It doesn't prevent any other intervention. We just like to see it use this first. There are two can sizes, one for professionals like EMTs, firefighters, and police. The other is smaller and can be used by just about anyone. You're cutting a bagel, right? You slip through and slice your hand open. You could use it to stop the bleeding there and then go to the ER to get stitches. SEAL is being used by Baltimore City Fire, EMS clinicians around the state, and on the front lines of the war in Ukraine. It has saved countless lives and it's making a difference for those warriors who would not otherwise survive. Bonnie Carroll is the CEO of Tragedy Assistance Program for Survivors, or TAPS. She says oftentimes injured troops in Ukraine can't get medical help until hours or even days later. This tool, this uh, resource to be able to save lives, to do the training, to bring that hope to the front lines is a game changer. Wayne acknowledges the success of his business is based on the tragedy of others. Yet with each story of survival, he's humbled by the impact it's making. It's incredibly meaningful and fulfilling for me and our, our team.